the determination of the storage location either in the sales order or the delivery is quite important to the order to cash and to the supply chain process in general this is because the storage location determines where we should reduce the stock when we do the PGI and if the field is empty when we do the PGI an error will be created also the storage location is part of the determination for the WM warehouse so you could have different storage locations that could potentially select different WM warehouses or even not select the WM warehouse at all and it all starts from the sales order so in the delivery uh, when you create a delivery it will look first to, this, to see if the storage location is populated in the sales order and it can either be populated manually in the sales order so or you could determine it via user exit in the sales order there is no automatic or configurable way to determine the storage location so either you have to populate it in manually or via user exit in the sales order and that will copy automatically into the delivery if the sales order is blank it will use we'll see in a minute the rule mala and that is a configuration uh, rule that we assign so that we say is when you create the sales order go through the rule mala to de determine where the storage location is and we'll have a look at detail how this is done also you can populate the storage location via user exit in the delivery a user could manually populate it or you could even populate it from an external system so for example if the picking was done by an external system and when it confirmed the picking it could also send the storage location but in the end look at the business process understand how the business process works when you would actually determine the picking location and that should be the point in which you populate or decide the storage location in SAP so look at the process when in the process you determine the storage location that also is in SAP when you should determine storage location and populate the document so if we look in this sales order and we double click through and have a look at the shipping tab notice how the storage location is blank as I said before it's only determined in the delivery so if we now deliver this so here I'm going to create the delivery if I go into the picking tab you can now see that the storage location has been op automatically populated and the warehouse is there also so when I create the delivery storage location is automatically determined so let's go ahead and save this and if I were to go back into the delivery oops it's still being created let's try that again okay so if I go back into the delivery and I change it to a different storage location and I press enter notice now that all the WM information is missing that's because this storage location is not relevant for WM so that I just wanted to show you this so you see really the importance of the storage location determination it it, it drives the WM determination so it's important to get it right when we create the delivery so now let's have a look at the three configuration items that we would need to do to determine the storage location the first is we need to define or determine or assign the rules i.e. which fields do we use to determine the storage location we then have to determine the storage condition or define the storage condition and finally we would have to assign those the picking location so let's have a look in SPRO standard configuration go to IMG go into logistics execution and then shipping oops this is a little bit longer than I expect dum, da, dum, dum. oh here we go picking and if we look at determine picking location define the rules for picking location determination 
So as you can see here, each delivery type is assigned a rule. And by default, uh, most mostly it's mala. So what does mala actually mean? So what does actually mala or any other rule means? Basically, what it's saying is that how do I determine the storage location? What are the fields that I use to determine the storage location? So if you see here mala, we determine it by taking into account the shipping point, the plant and the storage location. So here you can see Rita, which uses the plant, situation and storage condition. Then you have, a, you say, use Mala and Rita. Uh, so that means both. Or you can even use YY, which is a user exit. Totally how you want to determine the storage location. Most people use Mala because it's pretty simple. If we now look at the storage condition value in this configuration, we just here, we can define the different storage conditions that we want. Now, if we now go to the material master, and if we go, oops, let's go to the material master, and for this material, if we now go to the general plant data storage one view for the plant on the plant level, here is where the system would determine the storage condition. I can either leave it blank or populate it and it's on the plant view not the yeah so if we go back and now we say assign picking location and if we were to look here let's go to our shipping point 2400 and plant 2400 we can see here how we determine the storage location based on the the storage condition whether it's blank or zero one so this is the configuration on how we would determine the storage location taking into account the shipping point the plant the storage condition whether it's zero one or blank now this is great you now know how the system determines it but how do we actually use it that's a different question in most companies in most places we would have different storage location based on different types of material because remember the storage condition is on the material that actually means we can determine the storage location also based on material and what we would actually do is to say for example all raw materials are placed in one storage location and all finished goods are placed in a different storage location and what we then say is for these raw materials it has a particular storage condition that would point to a particular storage location and for finished goods it's assigned a different storage condition that will then point to a different storage location I'm being a little bit careful here because I always mix up storage condition and shipping location. Also, um, if you're only shipping out finished goods, for example, uh, you could divide the plant where certain finished goods are in one storage location and another type or group of storage, uh, sorry, or material is in a different storage location and you can then give them different storage condition. So in the end what you need to take away is the, one of the biggest drivers of the storage location determination is the storage condition of that material on the material master and that is the rule that we use generically for Mala. Other, so other businesses if your your determination is not based on this I uh, the best practice is to actually use the user exit to determine your logic so to recap the most commonly used way to determine a storage location is by the logic mala and if you do use the logic mala 
it's really driven by the shipping point the plant and the storage condition and as we said before the storage condition is assigned on a material so in theory we could say the determination of the storage location is driven by shipping point plant and material if you choose to use mala which I which most companies do okay so that is how we determine the storage location in the delivery so finally to recap the determination of storage location is either done in the sales order manually or via user exit it's determined when you create the delivery via the configuration and by in most cases the mala rule as you can see here if you choose to turn it off then the storage location will be blank and you would either have to manually populate it or have a user or if it's from an interface maybe populated via an interface and that is how storage locations is determined in SAP